Come on. Matching tattoos. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know how I do. Yes, sir. Shout out to the boy Ria on them tattoos. He purse hair. Khadija Michelle Brown, 28 years old, and Jeremy Rashad Brown, 28 years old, were high school sweethearts. They both attended Columbus High School together and got married seven years ago on February 11th, 2016 in the county of Lowndes in the state of Mississippi. And they share four children together, including a set of fraternal twins and a brand new baby boy. The couple seem to have been happy a lot of times with their grown family as they, you know, uploaded different videos and like status posts sharing they love to each other bigging each other up showing each other off spending time as a family going out listening to music laughing you know all, all the good stuff and Khadija worked as a server at Buffalo Wild Wings while Jeremy was the manager at National Sales and Lease in Columbus Mississippi and Jeremy was said to have been a very nice hard working and he found much happiness in being able to provide for the family that he created. He took so much pride in the fact that he had all his children with just one woman, his wife, and you know he wasn't like the stereotypical quote unquote baby daddy black man in America in the hood you know and he even upgraded Khadija's wedding ring recently and she was so happy about that she showed it off on her Facebook page and she wrote a post about it you know telling all her Facebook friends about how happy she was and how grateful she was for her husband and so I imagine that it took people by surprise when early Saturday morning on March 25th 2023 just this year Khadija got on Facebook live and she got on live to vent to her Facebook friends about how Jeremy wasn't home to feed their children breakfast nor has he been home to help with the children at all recently according to her apparently he had stayed the night out due to some tension between them and her mother was present there she was at the house that morning and she was helping Khadija feed the kids and in the live video you can hear both Khadija and her mom you know expressing their disdain for Jeremy's absence and Khadija was highly upset and her mother just added fuel to the fire with her own input you know she had her own stuff to say about it too however Khadija knew that Jeremy had to come back to the house because she stated in the video that he has to be at work at a certain time 9 a.m specifically and just as she said shortly after starting the live video Jeremy came to the house but when he got there he was on the phone with a family member I believe it was his mom I'm not sure but he was trying to pack up his belongings he wanted to get all his stuff because he was ready to go he wanted to go stay somewhere else presumably at a family member's house since clearly they wasn't on good terms at the time and this bothered Khadija you know this ate at her and this kind of started to I would say mess with her ego because 
she started to puff up at him she approached him and even you know at some point she even got violent and she boldly put her hands on him while she's still on the live and in the video you can see and hear jeremy trying to leave the house peacefully but khadija is preventing him from leaving and you can also hear him telling her to stop hitting him and he's asking her mother for assistance asking her to tell khadija you know tell her to stop put her hands on me and you can even hear the hits landing on the video like you can hear it on the live you can hear that she's hitting him and he also tells her that if she didn't stop he was going to call the police on her and you could also hear her saying something about how she was going to make it look like a murder scene in there and you can hear her mother telling her basically like chill out you know making it known like listen i'm, I'm not here to be a referee for all of this after instigating and all that you know and at some point khadija places the phone down so you can't see anything but you can hear everything including the undeniable sound of a single gunshot go off followed by the screams of khadija and her mother you can hear khadija screaming that she didn't know that there was still one bullet in the chamber and not only that but their children were also present yes the children were in the house and you can hear their horrific screams in the video and khadija is telling them that their daddy is dead khadija shot and killed her husband with a nine millimeter hit in the back of his head now according to what i've been seeing and reading all over the internet apparently khadija had been upset with jeremy for reasons more than him not being present and taking care of the kids before all this even happened allegedly jeremy had been cheating on khadija according to her you see khadija had a reputation for being jealous and very controlling of jeremy so it wasn't too far-fetched that she would go through his phone often well after going through his facebook messages Khadija came across an inbox message that Jeremy sent to a woman at his job that a married man really shouldn't have been sending to any woman who isn't his wife. Um, but anyway, she posted the screenshot to Facebook calling him a cheetah and airing him out, tagged his name, and told everybody he was smashing female employees at the job. Although we don't know that to really be true. And if that isn't enough, Khadija also accused him of being bisexual on the DL and cheating on her with men as well. Again, that hasn't been confirmed to be true either. Now, according to the Lowndes County Sheriff, Eddie Hawkins, the married couple had a lengthy history of domestic violence between them with Khadija being the aggressor. And Hawkins stated, quote, there was a history of domestic violence between Brown and the victim. This is a tragic and senseless murder and our thoughts and prayers go out to the family of the victim fortunately brown is in custody and we look forward to the criminal justice system holding her accountable end quote khadija was taken into custody without incident into the lowndes county adult detention center where she's currently being held there's a bond set at seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars and the investigation is still ongoing you know, when I first heard about this story, everyone was online saying that, you know, she took his life because he was on a down low, he was bisexual, he was cheating on her with men. And then they were saying, you know, like, this is how people get HIV and, you know, correlating HIV with men on men. And I just, first of all, it's 2023. All I'm going to say is just educate yourself. Also, I just felt like that was quite unfair to Jeremy as he is not here to defend himself in that. And I also got a sense of people in general, like I guess, trying to create a cushion for Khadija as to why she did what she did. Now, whether or not Khadija her husband on purpose, that's up to you as the viewer. That's subjective. You see that as you will. But what I do know is that we did see Khadija on that video and hear her get so aggressive and so mad that this man wanted to leave and she wanted to have control over the situation. And in the video, she even says like, you know, like I'm about to turn this into a murder scene. You're pointing a gun at somebody without the intention to use it. That's a big mistake anyway. But it just goes to show the control that she felt like she needed. And with the domestic violence past that they have, you know, at the end of the day, I see it as this. 
Jeremy was not the typical, you know, like he said, he was not the typical quote unquote like hood type of black man that created life with a woman and then left her to her own vices with children he decided not to take care of. Nah, you know, as far as I know from what I see, Jeremy was a stand up guy. He was a working man. You know, he was a great father. He was a proud husband. Clearly he wasn't perfect, you know, as he had no business being in nobody's messages flirting with them, um, you know, regardless of the feelings about what he had going on and what he was going through in his marriage but did he deserve to be taken away from his children before the age of 30 by his own wife absolutely not i know we hear a lot about women being abused in relationships with men however men do get abused too we just don't hear about it as much as women victims in heterosexual relationships and unfortunately jeremy was the victim in this case my condolences to jeremy's loved ones his children his friends, his family, his mom, may his spirit fly high in heavenly peace.